God made provision for his children to prosper in Jesus Christ. Jesus became poor that you might be rich. That's what 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9 says. Jesus became poor that you might be rich. Thirty years ago, Jesus spoke to me and he said, Freddie, I'm going to make you rich and I want you to teach my people how to be rich. That's what I've been doing ever since. I've been teaching golden nuggets from the Word of God about uh, prosperity and riches. Every believer contains riches inside them. It's called a treasure chest. These riches are in the kingdom of God and these riches can be activated by using the basic principles of kingdom prosperity. Briefly defined, kingdom prosperity is abundance in every area of your life. Abundance in the spirit and in the soul and in the body. I'm going to talk about some tips today on how to activate kingdom prosperity in your life. Tip number one relates to liberty. Break free from persistent poverty and debt by embracing the Lord, opening your heart to Him, letting Him give you correction and redirection. There are no quick and easy answers to escaping from poverty because poverty gets a grip on its victims. Even when poverty seems like it's going to end, there are unforeseen obstacles and hindrances that often arise. <clears throat> the Word of God gives a strategy for deliverance and freedom from poverty. Deliverance begins with destroying the roots of persistent poverty and debt that bind. Major root causes of persistent poverty and debt include greed, pride, poverty spirit, and generational curses. A few of these things you might be able to deal with in the natural, uh, but some of them, such as a poverty spirit and generational curses, are beyond your natural control. You have to depend upon the Lord. You have to look to spiritual things and spiritual principles. They have to be addressed. These roots have to be addressed in spiritual realm. A poverty spirit can uh, follow a person, can pursue that person. Regardless of where you go, you cannot uh, outrun a poverty spirit if that's been released on you or upon your family. Also, generational curses. Uh, generational curses don't result uh, from what you do, what your actions, but they... Uh, come about because of what your ancestors have done, what your grandparents have done, what your parents have done. And a lot of times we don't know what our uh, ancestors have done, but they've released generational curses and they have to be uh, addressed with the Word of God and by the Spirit of God. So the best thing you can do is to open up your heart to the Spirit of God and let the Spirit of God identify what are the root causes of, of your uh, poverty and debt. And once it's brought to the light, you'll know how to uh, deal with that situation. I know that to really get out of poverty and debt, you're going to have to change your lifestyle. Proverbs gives a couple of really important uh, statements about poverty Proverbs 13, it says that a poor man is poor because he will not heed instruction and he will not make the necessary changes to get out of poverty. Now, correction may not be pleasant at the time, but if it's going to get you out of poverty, if it's going to get you out of debt, go ahead and, and allow the Holy Spirit to speak into your life and, and to change uh, your life. And even though you know what to do, you all as far as correcting your lifestyle, and it may take a radical lifestyle, to change uh, your financial situation. If correction is needed, then accept it. The Holy Spirit will guide you in the direction to get out of your situation. But it's not just good enough to know what your 
what needs to be done, you also have to heed it and go ahead and do what the Holy Spirit uh, is telling you to do, to do. You need to listen to instructions, be open to the Holy Spirit, and develop godly relationships with spiritual people who can speak into your life. It's important to open up yourself to the Lord because He has good plans for you. His plans are good. And, and they, uh, they will lift you up. Regardless of what your situation is, God has something better in store for you. Be around spiritual people who care for you, who can speak life into your uh, situation. And take the correction that's needed and make the radical change in your life that will bring financial freedom to you and to your family.